Hey, what's up guys? So yes, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, the pilot part one. Now, the pilot part one is a good, um, I felt it was a very cool episode and very strong episode, but sometimes had some weak points. But, um, I haven't watched part two yet. I'll be watching that and I'll probably review that maybe tomorrow because I can, you know, I'll get a little bit more time, you know. I didn't want to watch it now because I wanted to make them separate. I want to make the two videos separate. But, um, yes, I really did like this episode. I really liked the idea of, um, Rick Hunter bringing all these people together. I believe his name is Rick Hunter. I'm sorry if I, print, you know, if it's not the right guy, but I believe his name is, no, Rip Hunter. I know his name is Hunter at the end. But it was very cool to see him actually come and, you know, come from the past. And he wasn't supposed to. And his wife and his kid were killed in the first scene by Vandal Savage. And I was like, whoa. That, you know, you know, even though they didn't show it, that was pretty brutal. That he just shot his kid right in the face pretty much point blank. And um, it was definitely a very strong motivation for the character to go into the past and get these heroes and assemble this task force. Even though I would have, you know... You know, I get, I'm sure, you know, I get the point why he didn't get the big name heroes. And it's kind of established. And I believe it's like a throwaway line where he says, you know, he couldn't mess with the timeline too much. Because if he brought, like, um, um, the arrow or the flash or somebody bigger, you know, they wouldn't have been able to stop whatever is going on. And they have their own series to do. So, you know, we can't do that. But, um, yeah, it was very cool to kind of see them. Like, these different groups of people come together. I don't know how many episodes there's going to be for this series, but I'm hoping, you know, there's, a, there's like, maybe, like, 8 to 10. I hope it's, like, an Agent Carter kind of thing. You know, kind of a filler like that, which would be kind of cool. But, um, it was definitely very interesting to see all these different personalities come together, even though I have not seen the Arrow. I did like seeing the White Canary come in, and I felt like her and her sister kind of had a strong bond, and she really did like doing what she did as the black canary, you know, um, with Oliver, and, um, yeah, it was very cool to see the Adam in there, and I've only seen him from the episodes in the crossovers, I, like, I only watched the Arrow crossovers, if I watched an episode of Arrow, and the Flash crossovers, so, it was very cool to see him back, and he's Brandon Ruth, the guy who played Superman in Superman Returns, so, you know, that's kind of funny, but, um, it is also cool to see, um, uh, Firestorm, the two split personalities of Firestorm, uh, you know, the, the the colored guy, no offense, oh my, I, I was getting annoyed, so annoyed by this character in the beginning of the episode and kind of throughout, I was just like, dude, shut up, you get, you know, you're going to save the future, can you just shut up and about it, you know, I don't, you know, it's just, it just got a little bit, you know, they, they used it too long, but at the end of the episode, he finally was like, alright, you know, I'm going to help, you know, you don't, we don't need to go back, um, and Captain Cold and Heat Wave, I believe his name is, um, I would have preferred Heatwave wasn't in there. Maybe just Captain Cold, because I think Captain Cold is a stronger villain. I, I haven't really been a fan of Heatwave. I like the guy who plays Captain Cold, and I think Heatwave, he, he does a little bit too much of an exaggeration, I feel. Or that's kind of how he was in Season 1, I think. But, you know, that, that might be just me. <laughs> it probably is. But, um... Who else am I missing? Oh, yeah. Hawk Girl and Hawkman. I think they're going to be an interesting part. They're probably, they are like the um, main people. They're like the, uh, I, I'm not going to say like the main two, but they're going to be the main ones that have to kill Vandal Savage. But, well, Rick Hunter will probably, Rip Hunter will probably be the one to do that. Because he's like, look, you guys are going to stop him and I'm going to kill him. You know, and he, he says it bluntly. He's like, I, I'm just gonna kill him. There's no, there's no other option. He needs to die by my hand because he murdered my family. But um, there wasn't really a whole lot to really ex de um, explain besides that there was a huge, there was like a, a cool bounty hunter fight at the end, and that kind of, you know, and um, that Hawk Girl and Hawk Man, um, son from the pat, you know, that they've had previous in their previous lives, um, is injured and I believe, you know, he dies. And so, it's very interesting that these characters, you know, it's like that inciting um, force for Coulson. These guys all join together because of that event. And, you know, and it's very cool to see, you know, what's going to happen next. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to where this series go, will go. But, um, yeah, I'm really impressed with how this, um, 
<clears throat> the season started off. It was good. It was a good episode. It wasn't a great episode, but it was pretty good. So I'm gonna give it uh, probably a 4.3 out of five weeks. Um, definitely a strong episode. Um, uh, some things were a little bit just, you know, kind of boring. I did like the exposition of them, you know, kind of explaining who Vandal Savage is and blah, 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 and how, he could, how they can track him and stuff. And I thought that was cool. But like I said, some of the acting, you know, and some of the character choices that they had, it was just, you know, and, and they didn't spend too much time in the future, like in the present day. They did actually go back into the past pretty quick in the episode. So a big majority of the episode is in the, is in the past. So that was cool, kind of cool. But, um... Definitely interesting, but my question is, why didn't they just go back to when Vandal Savage, you know, was at a meteorite? You know, was when he when he was hit by the meteor. Because from what I believe, from it was he, he was he hit by a meteorite or did he sleep by one? Because in the Doom movie, he slept by a meteorite. Did he leave me that answer in the comment section below? Did he did um? Vandal Savage get hit by the meteorite or what happened to him? I want to, you know, you know, understand what kind of happened because I believe, you know, because why didn't they just go back and maybe stop that meteorite from hitting the earth, you know, or just kill him right there, you know? But um, that's about it, guys. Um, definitely, I'll be back with that later. But I have to review the news. I have to review the three episodes of Agent Carter next, so I will be back for that. So I'll see you guys later. Jay Wink, we get out. Oh, yeah. 4.3 out of 5. 5 weeks. That's fine, right? Alright. Cheering. Winking out.